So hi everyone. So in this video, we will go through the installation procedure for Tanner EDA tools. So after downloading the tools, so you will find a setup file here. So here you will find a setup file, which is the application file. So which is needed to install the software. So we will follow a step-by-step -step procedure to install the Tanner EDA tools, okay? So first, so run the setup file. So just to give a right click on it and run the setup file as an administrator. So then click S. Yes. So after that, so just click on the next button to proceed. So here select the local license and again click on next and install. So the installation includes four steps. So the first one is install the EDA tools. And the second one is you need to install the utilities. In the third step, you need to install the system drivers. And finally, in the fourth step, so you need to set the environment variables. So we will go through the each of these steps one by one, okay? So now let's start with the installation of Tanner EDA tools. So please note that some steps will be repeated twice during the process. So if it seems like uh, you are doing the same thing again, so don't worry. So this is part of the procedure, okay? So just click on next over here. And here accept the license agreement. Then next. So here you need to enter your username and an organization name. So here I'm entering my username like Monica. And my organization is Technotran. So he, in the place of organization name, so you can give anything. It is fine, okay? So after that, so just to select the option, anyone who uses this computer, then click next. So here, you need to select a folder where you would like to install the tools. So here I'm changing my directory. So where I want to store or where I want to install my Tanner tools. So here I'm selecting the D drive. So in the D drive, I'm creating a new folder over here. So with the name Tanner tools. So here I just created a new folder with the name Tanner tools. And now I want to install my Tanner tools in this folder itself, okay? So after selecting your directory, so just click on okay here. Again, next, select next, and finally click on the install button. So now that the first component is installed, so just click on finish. So the second component, the utilities will begin installing automatically. So you don't need to do anything here. So the process will start on its own. So the, the steps are similar to the first component. So just click on next and accept the license agreement over here. And again, click on next. So here enter your username and organization name. So after that, click on next. And if you want, you can change the directory according to your requirements. So in the C, in the Tanner tools itself, I want to install these utilities. Okay. So just select the folder where you want to install these utilities. So just click on okay. And then next, again next. And finally click on install. So once that's done, so just click on finish. So with this, the second step that is utility is also installed. So lastly, so you can choose or we need to install the drivers. So just next, accept the license agreement again, next, next, install.
Okay, now all the three components are installed. So after that, we need to set the environment variables. So, so I will skip this part for now. So I'm just clicking on cancel. So there is an another option to set the environment variables. So which is an important step. So, so we can do it in another manner. So for that, so we need to find the crack size. So for that, we need to go for the folder which we have downloaded. So here we downloaded the Tanner Tools file, right? So in this folder, you will find crack files. So here there is a folder with the name crack, right? So if you open this folder, so the, it contains the crack files. So just locate the folder where the crack files are stored. So now just copy all your crack files. So these crack files are present in your installation directory. So in this case, we install the software in the D drive, right? So inside that folder called Tanner Tools. So we need to paste all these crack files into that folder. So just copy all these crack files, then go to D drive. So here we created a folder for Tanner Tools, right? So just to open this folder. So in this folder itself, just paste all the copied crack files and select this, uh, replace the files in the destination option. So by doing this, we complete the fourth step. So which is setting the environment variables. So once that's done, so close this window. So once we completed the all four steps, so just close all the tabs. So once that's done, so you should now be able to find shortcuts for sedit, lvs, and tspice and w edit on your desktop, right? So with that, the installation of Tanner is complete. So to open an sedit, so just simply click on the shortcut on the desktop. So after you open Tanner Tools S Edit, so here you will ask, so if you would like to load the examples for preferred experiments. So these examples are useful for making the most out of the Tanner Tools. So there will be an option called Setup Right. So which allows you to load the all examples files into the driver. So where you set the installation destination. So here, what I will do, so just click on the setup file. So here we can choose the directory where we want to load our examples. So here I'm changing the directory. So here in the D drive, So in the D drive, so we have a folder with the name Tanner Tools, right? So here in the Tanner Tools folder, so here I'm simply creating another folder, another new folder with the name example. So in the Tanner Tools, so here I'm just So in the Tanner tools, I'm just creating a new folder with the name examples. So I will create a new folder named examples. So just click on OK. So all the example files will be loaded into this newly created examples folder. So during the installation, all predefined examples that comes with the Tanner tool will be loaded into this folder. So once that's done, so you can now navigate to the Tanner tools folder. So just click on this install button. So just finish. So once that's done, 
So now you can go to your Tanner Tools folder, which is created in the D drive. So just to open this Tanner Tools. So here, a new folder is created with the name examples. So just to open this one. So now this folder will contain all the example files. So these files include license files, example circuits, guidelines and a user guide, and even the standard libraries. So here in the process, you will find some standard libraries. So you can use these standard libraries whenever you need components like transistors, diodes, and other elements. So with everything in place, you can now access these examples and standard libraries for your projects, okay? So just close this window. So now with this, the installation process is now successfully completed. So all the necessary components, including the Tanner tools, utilities, drivers, and example files. So, and all those files have been properly installed and set up. So you can now start using the Tanner tool suits, including the SID, Teledit, and other features. So with the examples and standard libraries, so ready for your project. So thank you, everyone.